As part of the endgame, The Division 2 introduces specializations. These allow the player to go more in-depth in one of four specializations, not three, I said four, and unlock new perks and buffs. Besides that, the skills make a return, so let's take a look at what the specializations are, how they work, what skills are new, and what skills are making a comeback. I dived into the in-game demo footage from E3, watched back the developer interviews, and there is some interesting bits to know. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into it. Let's start with the specializations, those are the most interesting. What are they? Once you reach level 30, you can choose a specialization, which comes with a unique signature weapon, exclusive skill mods, talents and grenades. The signature weapons are here to replace signature skills from the previous games. They are powerful, heavy weapons to be used as an ultimate ability. It's not sure yet, but there might be sub-specializations like the M406 High Explosives Grenades for the Demolitionist. It has a different logo than the specialization itself, leading me to think it might be a sub-specialization and there might be others. And this also goes for the skills. One might have a different variant of the Seeker Mine than the other player. Perhaps that even separates the DPS, Tank and Support players, like a Chem Launcher that for the DPS releases Exploded Vapors, the Purple Cloud we saw, but for the Support it might release a Nanobot Swarm that repairs armor of allies. Most likely it will be something like that. They didn't go into what it could do for the talents, but they did for the grenades. This time around the grenade wheel is gone, each player is equipped with frag grenades, but the special grenades are bound to a specialization. We'll show you which ones belong to what specialization in a second. And all of these attributes can be unlocked through playing with specialization, that's what we call progression. As mentioned, there are four specializations, of which we know three, each focusing on a different playstyle. We have the demolitionist, sharpshooter and survivor. The fourth unknown specialization is confirmed and this is because when the new Ubisoft Club app Sam was asked what we can do in the Division 2 it mentioned there will be four specializations. This also makes more sense as we still have the typical four-man squad but we don't know what it will be so let's focus on the ones we do have information on. Starting with Mr. Explosive. Demolitionist is an agent of chaos, focusing on disrupting enemy plans and entrenched positions, using its signature weapon, the M32A1 multi-shot grenade launcher. This weapon shoots powerful 40x46mm high explosive M406 grenades that deal massive amounts of damage within an area of effect. The weapon has high damage, though the in-game stats told me otherwise, which damage hostiles within a 5 meter radius. It can shoot hostiles within a range of 80 meters, from which it can fire at almost 100 rounds per minute until its magazine of 6 projectiles is completely empty. This specialization is for those who are interested in blowing everything up, regardless of the consequences. The sharpshooter is looking at taking the targets out from afar using its signature weapon, the Tech 50C Anti-Material Rifle. This 50 caliber rifle is able to penetrate armor and other surfaces, and you can shoot through objects which opponents are hiding behind. Its stats are unknown, as I couldn't find any footage on the stats. For people that like to confine their battles to the long range, this is your specialization. The third and final specialization that we know of is the survivor. The survivor controls his or her surroundings using traps and status effects. Its signature weapon is the explosive tipped crossbow. With rate of fire similar to that of the M32A1 grenade launcher, it shoots one explosive bolt per magazine over a small trajectory and after a brief timer it will deal heavy damage of around 16,000 hit points to the target and the surrounding area. This is my personal favorite specialization and that's solely due to the fact I want to nail people in the head with an explosive crossbow bolt. These signature weapons can't be used constantly. Ammunition for the signature weapons can be collected by picking up the blue drops. When those are collected, you can use your signature weapon and show the enemies that you're the fiercest warrior that has ever set foot in Washington DC. But besides signature weapons, skills are also making a return. Player can select up to two skills, similar to the previous game. Each one comes with different mods, allowing the skill to serve different purposes. Let's take a look at the conference skills, which are the Chem Launcher, Drone, Hive, Seeker Mine, Shield and Turret. 
The chem launcher is one of the new skills. It's a launcher that can shoot various chemicals that disperse on impact. It has multiple mods, among which we know one is with explosive vapors, one is with corrosive acids, and one is with repairing nanobots. The drone is taking the form of a skill and not an unreleased feature this time around. Thank god for that. It's an AI controlled quadrocopter that can be sent to unleash a special brand of hell on your enemies. Two mods are confirmed for this one and those are the assault drone and the protector drone. First one being an offensive version and second one being a defense one that protects the player. Perhaps quite handy for the snipers among us. Following this up is another new skill, the hive. It's a defensive tool that can have a variety of uses. Only one mod is known at the moment, and that's the Hornet mod. The Hornet Hive sends out microcharges of small drones that target hostiles within its range. And it was to be expected, but the Seeker Mine is making a comeback. Not much else to say about this one, since we all know it's a rolling ball of death and an awesome BB-8-like sidekick. The mods are unknown as of yet. Another returning skill is the shield. We haven't seen any gameplay of it, but one of the gear items had an attribute that rolled shield skill power, pretty much confirming its return. And the final confirmed skill already known to us is the turret. Similar to the shield, we haven't seen gameplay on it, but it was teased through an attribute roll. I like that they already added new ones to the already existing ones and each skill having the option to serve multiple playstyles like the chem launcher with its explosive papers or repairing nanobots. And that's everything I know on the specializations and the skills. It was quite a lot though. I feel like the specializations in combination with the skills will be a big thing in what makes the Division 2 a good game. It adds to the endgame through progression and through adding build variety. What would be the specialization that you would use and what skills would you add to that build? Let me know in the comments down below and if you're not picking this fiver with the crossbow I can tell you why you're wrong. But in all seriousness I can't wait to try each and every single one of these specializations and skills. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and so I hope to see you in the next one as well. Peace, love and happiness and peace out.